Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany. I happen to live in Athens, Greece. So if this is the first time you're seeing me, welcome. And if you enjoy travel content, I hope you'll stick around. If you've been following me for a while, you know I haven't done one of these ask me anythings in a really long time. And because there are so many more of you now, thank you so much. I thought it would be a good time to come on here and do a little Q&A. A few weeks ago, I asked over in the community tab here on YouTube uh, what your questions are for me. I have a cup of tea today instead of my usual coffee because I've reached my caffeine limit. Well, at least my coffee caffeine limit for the day. So I hope you'll grab a beverage of your choice, depending on what time of the day it is, as we go through these questions that you guys asked. First thing, what is my favorite part about living in Athens? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, the original plan was not to live in Athens. The original plan was to live in Naxos. So I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about living in a big city again, because I am from a big city in Texas, and I lived in New York City for seven years. So I thought, I don't know about it, but once I moved here, I really liked it because it is a big city, but comparatively to the city I'm from and from New York City, it is relatively small. Um, it's pretty easy to navigate, whether it's walking or on public transportation, and the people are generally friendly, but they do kind of mind their own business, where sometimes on a Greek island, that isn't so much the case. Uh, so you kind of get the feeling of being in Greece, but also being in a nice sort of international city. There are a lot of people from all over the world living here, and that makes it really nice. The next one, have I ever gone to Northern Greece? Unfortunately, no. Just in this last two years have I started to explore more um, areas of Greece that are not an island, <laughs> um, but not as much as I would like um, to have done so far. I really want to go to Ioannina, uh, the lake there looks really amazing, and I really want to go to Thessaloniki. Now, I also don't know what you're referring to as northern Greece. Um, I consider Thessaloniki northern, but I know some people might not. So, if you want clarification, ask me down in the comments. What is my favorite Greek food? Okay, I like almost everything I've had, so I'll just give you a few. My all-time favorite is zucchini balls. Don't ask me to say it in Greek because I've lived here for three years and no matter how hard I try, I cannot say it. But it's my favorite thing and I try it almost everywhere that I see it on the menu. And by far the best place that I've ever had zucchini balls is at a tiny little restaurant that is usually only open from like June to September or the middle of September on Eos called Octopus Tree. It's in the harbor. If you go, they only have like 10 tables. <laughs> so I would say just if that's, you know, a good motivation for you, you go early in the season and you go early in the day. They won't run out necessarily, but their tables get full really fast. The other thing I really like is imam. Some people will say that it's more Turkish than Greek, but we won't go there. <laughs> um, so if you don't know what imam is, it is uh, eggplant with tomato sauce and onions and feta. It's, and everywhere it's different, just like the zucchini balls, everywhere is slightly different. So you're gonna get it different in every place. I'm, you know, I'm pretty stereotypical. I do really like moussaka. Um, it's sort of like Greek comfort food to me, so um, sometimes I get that a lot. And one of the best places I've ever had, moussaka, is on the island of Kalimnos, but not in the main town, on this other side of the island where we got onto it by a boat and there aren't a lot of roads. I cannot think of the name of the restaurant now, but I'll put it in the description box. The next one is, have I ever had a bad encounter or experience while living in Greece? I'm not exactly sure what this person meant, and I'm sure they mean like so bad, like, you know, physically harmed or something taken. Fortunately, no. Um, I have never been robbed. I've never had anyone like physically attack me. I have had someone attempt to rob me, 
um, here in Athens, but I knew that it was happening. So, I mean, I've had the odd encounter where people are kind of rude, but like, that's not because it's Greece. That's just because someone is in a bad mood that day. So pretty much no. What do you think is the biggest pro to living in Greece compared to America? Well, for me, I mean, the way of life is the main reason that I moved here. Like I fell in love with Greece almost the minute I got off the plane. I was like, this is it. This is the place for me. So, <laughs> I mean, I've never had a place where you get off the plane and you're just like, oh, yes, this is where I'm meant to be. Um, I've only had that happen in one other place, like where I felt that connection to it right away. And that was one of the other countries I've lived in, in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Another big factor for me living here is the cost of living compared to the US is very low. I've had a lot of people comment lately, like, why don't I live somewhere cheaper, like in Bulgaria or the Canary Islands? But I didn't move here because of the cost of living. It just happened to work out that way. Do you feel a lot of pressure knowing you have to produce a new video by every Wednesday? First, I want to say thank you for noticing that my videos come out on Wednesday because I do sometimes wonder if people notice. So you answered my question. Um, yes, I will be totally honest with you guys. Uh, YouTube is not a huge source of my income, but it does provide a good supplement. So I do feel pressure to produce a video, um, not just because of that, but because people expect a video every week. I think that's pretty normal on YouTube to put out a video. Some people put out two a week. Now, a lot of those people who do two a week do YouTube full time, so they have the time to do two videos a week. I don't think I could ever do two a week unless it was my full time gig, so that would be difficult. Um, but also, like, the way that YouTube works, and even though they say this isn't the case, sometimes I feel like if I don't put out a video one week, the video the next week doesn't perform as well. There are various thoughts on this um, in terms of like YouTube land. I won't go too much into it because I know most of you are not YouTubers, so you probably don't care too much. Now, supposedly the algorithm doesn't care whether or not you put out a video every week, but um, it, sometimes it seems that it does. So it, it's a little bit of pressure. Um, I'm working less now, so I have more time to do filming. Um, but I do feel the pressure to um, make the video better every time um, because, well, that's just in my nature. Uh, the next one is a little bit longer. So have I ever been to Thessaloniki? Uh, this person was in Athens. They didn't like how crowded it was. And um, since I don't work in corporate offices, do I think about moving to a smaller place in Greece? So no, I haven't been to Thessaloniki. But as I mentioned earlier, it is somewhere that I really want to go and actually I'm hoping to go sometime next year and I really want to take the train because you can take the train from Athens to Thessaloniki and I think that would be really cool. Do I ever think about moving to a smaller place in Greece? So the thing about moving to a smaller place is you have to consider your social life because a lot of the villages, even if they're places where people live year round, when there's not tourists and when it's winter and people stay home a lot, there isn't a lot to do. And for me, that's not really great. I need, even though I don't go out all the time, I may only go out once a week, um, but I need that option. Um, I need variety. Since I'm a single person, cooking for myself every single night of the week is just, it's probably the biggest thing I hate doing. <laughs> I've thought about, do I want to move to Naxos or back to Naxos, try to, but I think like, as a single person, it would be really difficult. If you have a partner or family on an island or in a small town, a small village somewhere, you have more, you at least have interaction with someone. Next question is, do you ever want to travel to other places besides Greece? Or do you feel been there, done that? If so, where else would you like to go? Okay, so before I moved to Greece, I traveled all the time, I traveled like one year I calculated all the places that I'd traveled, like not counted countries, but counted the time I'd been out of the country of Qatar where I happened to be living. I was gone for three months in total out of the entire year. Um, I, I have traveled quite a bit. Um, when I moved to Qatar, I traveled all the time. Um, I made a lot more money there. Um, and it's pretty easy to fly out of Doha to almost anywhere. They have flights everywhere and every year they added more. So it was super easy. Uh, and since I'm single, 
and I don't have kids in school, I could just sort of take off whenever I wanted to. And we had a very generous vacation because I worked for a university. Uh, so I've been to a lot of places and where would I else would I like to go? Actually, I asked this in my community tab uh, recently and my number one place right now, because it changes all the time, I'm sort of obsessed with Japan. <laughs> I've been obsessed with Japan for a while. Um, it's just super expensive to get there and it's super expensive to be there. So I just have to figure out how I'm going to pay for that. Uh, other places that I'd like to go, well, I'm hoping next year to go to Italy. I've been to Italy many, many times, but I have friends there. And of course I haven't seen the whole country. Uh, it's a lot like Greece. There's so much to see that you just may never ever finish seeing it. Other places, um, the thing is, now that I've traveled a lot, I like to go back to the places that I love and do them again and again. So it kind of makes it difficult to discover new places. Um, I'd hope, I'm hoping to make it to London sometime next year because, well, I love London. I spent a month there one year when I quit my job to travel. Other places I'd really like to go. Um, I'd love to go to Antarctica. I would love to go to the Galapagos Islands. Um, <laughs> we could be here forever. And for some reason, I can't think of all the places. I have a list. I have a list somewhere. And now I don't know where that list is. It's probably in a notebook. I have all these notebooks. I make a yearly bullet journal. And one year I listed all of the places that I wanted to go. Um, and I think I did that when I was, when I quit my job because I thought, okay, now's my chance to see all these places. So I have seen a lot of the things that I wanted to see. Like I've been to places that a lot of people would never consider going. I've been to Oman, I've been to Malta, I've been to Kuwait, Thailand, uh, Guatemala. <laughs> um, I would like to explore more of South America, um, but of course now that I live in Europe, that's a little bit more difficult. What was my experience like when I renewed my residence permit and was the procedure easier to do online? <laughs> After COVID, they decided that this new system was gonna be put in place and that everybody was gonna renew their residence permit online. And that sounded amazing to me because for Greece, that was like a huge leap forward. So my residence expi permit expired in the end of August of, yes, of 2022, 2022. So just recently, right? Um, have I gotten it yet? My renewal? No. That should tell you right now because it's almost December. By the time you guys see this, it'll be the middle of December um, and I still haven't gotten it. So I got all my documents translated. I uploaded everything to the website and now it used to be able to, you got this blue piece of paper that had your photo on it. And it was basically like, this person has applied and is allowed to stay here until your application is approved or denied. And it was like a temporary residence permit. Now, when you apply, renew, you're supposed to get this same temporary thing. So they give you this temporary thing and they send you a confirmation email with that temporary thing. And then they send you, um, the confirmation that you have applied. As I got closer to the date of my expiration, I emailed them and they said, oh no, no, it's too soon. I was like, okay, that's all they said. They didn't say anything else because I fully expect them to come back and say that they need more documents from me. Like I'm counting on it and I'm kind of imagining what those things are. Um, I'm sure they're gonna want my bank statements again because of course the ones I gave them are from like May. I did hear from another person who is an immigration attorney and back in like September, she said that the people who applied for renewal in January were the ones that were being processed. So it's about a nine month wait from when you apply to when you actually get the thing saying, come and give your fingerprints and get your new biometric card. Guess it was easy in the sense that like, filling out the documents online and submitting everything was easy. Paying the fee was a little bit difficult because the system is only in Greek, but I figured it out. That's what Google Translate is for. Somebody asked me about the cost of living, like where my family lives and where I live here. 
It's a little bit difficult because my family lives in a big house in Texas on a very large piece of land and we have a pool. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to compare my tiny 47 square meter apartment to their giant house. However, rent is more than double what I pay here. And I pay way, not way more, but I pay a little bit more than a Greek would because of my neighborhood. Um, and I was also willing to pay a little bit more to have a little bit, not nicer, but newer-ish apartment. Electricity is definitely cheaper in the U.S. I can't really tell you how much by, uh, although my parents have noticed that like the cost of their electric bill is going up. Um, I'm not exactly sure about petrol slash gasoline um, because I haven't asked them recently how much it is. And there it's in American gallons or U.S. gallons rather than liters. So it's kind of hard to do like in my head a, a actual comparison. Um, I would say that like overall the cost of living is higher there than it is here. Like my food is more expensive here but rent is way more expensive there. And I would have to have a car there. Like I would, in Texas, I would have to have a car. And if I lived, let's say back in New York City, my rent would be more than triple what I'm paying here, probably quadrupled. Um, and I might not have a, an apartment of this size. It might be a studio. So, this is a really interesting one. How is it for me to make new friends? Is it difficult? Um, is it anonymous? Do I know my neighbors? Um, because they know it's not the same as being on holiday. And this is so true. Um, so if you come on a holiday, especially if you're staying in a tourist area and you're going out to tourist restaurants, like everybody is super friendly, right? Like Greek, it's one of the things that people love about Greece is that Greeks are friendly. Well, and not that they're not friendly outside of those situations, but they're not necessarily gonna like say, hey, do you wanna hang out? Cause they have friends. So Greeks, usually, especially here in Athens, um, they have a group of friends that they have grown up with since they were small, and they are still friends with those people. I don't have that same experience in the U.S. Yes, I'm Facebook friends with some of those people, but, like, we don't hang out. I don't hang out with people that I knew when I was, like, 10, whereas Greek people do. And I think that's great. Like, I'm so happy that they are formed those lifelong bonds, but... It does make it hard to break into that friend group, um, particularly if your Greek is really bad, like mine. Is it hard to make, it's hard for me to make friends because I am an introvert and putting myself out there is difficult. I find it stressful and I find it sort of emotionally taxing. Not always, but um, sometimes I come back and I'm like, oh, I'm done now, I'm done for the week. And then sometimes, it's fine. So uh, if I manage my own expectations, then I'm better about it. Do I work? And if so, what do I do? And how easy is it to find work there? So I do work, but I do not work in Greece. On the visa that I'm on, I am not allowed to work here. It is very difficult for a third country person to get a work permit here. Um, the company that's hiring you has to prove that there's somebody in the country or even in the EU that cannot do this job before they hire you, you also have to know Greek. Like it's, unless you're getting to work for like an international company, it would be almost impossible for you to try to get a job here and not speak like fluent Greek, not like the basic get good morning, thank you, you know, that sort of thing. Like you have to speak Greek. I don't know how it is to find work here because I don't work here. Would I ever consider buying a golden visa and becoming a Greek citizen? So that's not actually how it works. You can buy an apartment and get a golden visa for a certain amount, but you do not become a Greek citizen. You get a five-year residence permit that then has to be renewed every five years. Now, the visa that I am on, if I want to, after seven years, I can apply for Greek citizenship. Um, I probably will not, though, because of various reasons that I'm not gonna go into here. <laughs> no, um, as long as I keep renewing my residence permit, I will probably not apply for the Greek citizenship. It takes a long time to even get processed. Why did I decide to leave America and move to Greece? So I think I mentioned earlier when I came off the plane, 
I kind of got that feeling. I'm a person that gets feelings about things and they're usually right. And I was like, this is, this is it. Um, and I did, I stayed for two weeks. I did a two week sailing holiday uh, around the islands and I just loved it. Like I originally was only going to do a week and then before I like paid for the whole trip, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do two weeks because I would hate to come and do a week and then not have like regretted not staying longer. And I figured if I came for two weeks and I hated it, I could always leave early. <laughs> this is sort of how I operate in life though. Like people are like, what? So I, I moved to Qatar and people are like, well, what if you don't like it? I'm like, so I'll quit and I'll go home. I just figured that no decision is permanent. <laughs> Very few decisions in life are permanent, so you should at least try it. The last question is, um, have you ever considered moving to another Balkan country where prices and cost of living are low, lower Bulgaria? I think I mentioned this earlier, but I'll just sort of address it again because, like I said, I didn't move to Greece for the cost of living. I moved here because I love it. Um, and actually, I've been to uh, Montenegro, and while it's a beautiful country, I don't want to move there. I, I don't think, at least for me, I don't know about everybody else, but if I'm going to move somewhere, I really need to enjoy living there. Now, I did move to Qatar without knowing what it was going to be like because I got a job. And sometimes that's, you know, that's what you do. But I knew I wanted to live abroad. So it was sort of my path into doing that and seeing if I liked it. Um, and again, I was like, well, if I hate it, I'll move home. So, uh, so again, I didn't really move to Greece because of the cost of living. I moved here because I fell in love with it. So until another place strikes my fancy, I don't really foresee me leaving Greece, um, you know, unless for some reason they don't give me my resident permit renewal and then I'll cry. We'll see what happens <laughs> about the residence permit. I'm sure they're going to give it to me, but you never know. And that's it. Um, I think... Yeah, I'm sure there were lots more people who um, would have asked me questions, but maybe they're new and they haven't really had this one-on-one -on -one experience with me before because I haven't done one of these in like almost two years. If you have any more questions, ask them in the comments below. And if there are enough of them, maybe in another couple of months, I will do another one. So make sure you look in the comments to see if I ask answer any more of your questions or check the community tab. I hope that you guys enjoyed this getting to know me. Um, I, I really like doing these. I like to see what your questions are. If you wanna support me and my channel a little bit more than just watching the videos, I do have a Patreon and the link is down in the description box. And if you go over there, you can see all the benefits of joining that. I really appreciate you watching guys. I hope you'll consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.